What's going on YouTube? Sam Adams here and today we have episode 11 of our No Money Spent series Balling on No Budget and today we have another new pickup to the squad. We finished another showdown and this time we got face of the franchise Carlos Santana. So the reason why I wanted Carlos Santana is one, he's a very good swing. I've seen other people use him and he crushes the baseball. Two, it's another guy we can play at catcher. The more guys you can play at catcher, the better. There's not that many good options. Again, his primary position is first base, but secondary catcher and third base. So his stat or his attributes are 70 contact versus righties, 96 contact versus lefties, 83 power against both handedness, righties and lefties, 86 vision. So when he plays lefties, especially on the higher levels, he's going to be really good. And the difference and why I like him. So Gary Sanchez's vision is only 50. So at the higher levels, Hall of Fame legend, he's not going to play as well as Carlos Santana. So I wanted Santana just for the higher levels and we can use Gary off the bench. He has 76 fielding, 59 arm strength, 74 reaction. So he's not going to be as good at catcher, but he's still going to play. He's going to be fine. 28 speed. So for this video, our lineup is as follows. Buxton leading off. Eddie Matthews still in the two hole. Torres still in the three. Gallo hitting four still. Carlos Santana will move to the five spot. Matt Olson in the six hole. Tatis in the seven. Juan Soto in the eight spot. Yeah, we keep moving Juan Soto down. He's going to be fine. I know he's going to start coming through, getting hot. But right now, he's four for 15. No doubles, no triples, no home runs. So literally, no extra base hits so far for Juan Soto. But they're going to come. Part of it is on me. I don't know if you guys know, but the last four or five days, I've been in a bad, bad slump. So I've been hitting really, really bad. So again, part of it's on me, but can't hit with Juan Soto right now. We're currently rated 286, so these games should be played on all so we're 5 and 0. Oh. Let's see what happens here. We're gonna go again. We'll play at Ship It here. We'll play at July 1 p.m. Again, if you guys are enjoying these videos, you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Still, there's 61% of you guys who have not yet subscribed to the channel. Make sure you guys are hitting the subscribe button. We're on the road to 1,300 subs. We actually just hit 1,200 again. I appreciate you guys so much. If you guys enjoy this content, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. Let's set the like goal at 35 again. You guys have been smashing, smashing that like goal. I appreciate you all so much, man. As our opponent backs out, he's probably away. I don't know why, man. People just do not want to play away this year. They just don't. So we're going to go back to ship it. Again, I cannot thank you guys enough. You guys have been showing so much love to these videos. It means the world to me, man. Soon again, you guys will be seeing more custom league games. I haven't been playing that many because we've been struggling. You know, got to play when you're got to play when you're hot. So we'll uh, we have to play at least three games this week. So again, you guys will be seeing more of that content on the channel in the very near future. But today we have Corey Kluber's debut to the no money spent squad. So Hopefully he does well. So again, it's on All Star. Kluber, as long as other pitchers are on All Star, are not the best. But hey, it's all good. We're still we're playing on All Star. We found an opponent pretty quickly. Let's see what he has. If he's get a ready up. Okay, finally, after a solid three minutes waiting on the lineup screen, our opponent has been found. Derek Rose Beast. He has Carlos Carrasco, Mickey Mantle, J.D. Martinez, Duke Snyder. Suarez, Freeman, Tatis, Grandal, and Brian Roberts. All right, we should be able to hit Carlos Carrasco, but again, we've been in a huge, huge slump. So who who knows at this point? We'll see what happens. We do have Kluber on the mound though, so that is a W. See what he does in his first game with us. I always forget to change my fielding camera. One of these days I'll do it. Obviously, it's not going to be today. We got one down though. See what Kluber got, see if I can dot this low and away cutter. We did, 0-2. He chases that, so you know what? We're gonna go right back, but make sure this has to be a ball. Do not throw it in the strike zone. Great pitch. We got him, two down. We're not gonna go change up in the dirt here. Oh, he crushes that. I left it way too high. It's a good swing right there. That's, I think that was perfect, perfect. Gallo almost threw him out of first base. Okay, one and two, we're gonna go slurve. Out of the box here. Make him chase here. The great pitch. We got him. Three down. Let's hit. No reason to swing. All right, 3 1. Let's go, Byron. Oh, Buxton. This dude has so much pop. To the moon. He's insane. This dude's insane. He is insane.
insane! He just has so much power, it's incredible. Here we go, we got a 3-1 count for Eddie. See if we can do the same thing Byron just did. Oh, that's gonna be a good, good line. Okay, I was gonna say, I thought it was gonna be bad animation. Good, good lineup, but we're on the baseball. That's all, that's all that matters. All that matters, we're starting to take better, better swings here. 1-1, one, one. let's see what we got here. He's gonna challenge us here, I feel it. Glaber, that's gonna be down the line. Just early squared up. We're starting to square it up. That is JD Martinez. We have, we're gonna go. Okay, good. I was gonna say, JD Martinez does not have the best arm. Torres is slow, but we should have been safe, and we are. There we go. Oh, Joseph Gallo with the good, good down the right field line. Oh, God, we're gonna go. Oh, we're out. We're out. We're out of first. Oh, my God, we're out. Well, that's. No one ever said I'm the best base runner, but at least we have a two run lead. Here's Santana. So it is Carlos. In he must have known it's his debut. Carlos Carrasco hits his teammate, Carlos Santana, in his debut for the squad. Well, here comes Matt Olson. Let's see what we got. And we get a just early good, absolute bullet as a line out. Three down, but we did put up two runs again. I don't. I still feel a little bit off right now, but you know it is what it is. We just got to keep pitching. The only ball he hit before was the low change that we're just gonna keep it high. Go to the cutter inside here, try to jam him or strike him out. There it is. We got him. One down. I love these backdoor sinkers this year. It's just such a good pitch. Backdoor sinker, backdoor cutter to lefties. It just. It's a pitch that not a lot of people can hit if you locate it. If you miss it over the plate, it's going to be a bomb, though. Like, that's just an absolute dot. And you can tunnel that with the cutter right here. Usually, it's a nice little rollover if you throw it well. There it is. He chases it. And then you go sinker, you go cutter, and then you spot the four seam. Not a lot of people use Kluber's four seam, but it's actually a great pitch to throw. People think it's going to be a sinker. They wait just a little bit long. They swing right through it just like that. Bucks and catches these. Hopefully we don't get the wall glitch here. We should be able to catch this, and we will. He it all the way as far as he possibly can, but we make the catch. We got three down. Fernando Titties Jr. hitting a cool 538. That's what I'm saying, guys. I've been doing that for the last four or five days. I just drop my PCI when I'm right there. It's just so bad. But it's all good, because Fernando Titties Jr. hits it to the moon! Even though I'm barely on the baseball, that's how it is on All-Star. Especially against a silver. Yeah, that is a bad swing. And here's Juan Soto completely on the baseball, but it's just a grounder. I think, guys, I have a broken Juan Soto. That's what that's what it is. I have a broken Juan Soto. He had a lead, another leadoff homer to start the game. He has four homers out of six hits. This dude got so much pop, it's ridiculous. And there is a single up the middle. There we go. Oh, ooh. Okay. With two outs, we may be looking to steal second here. We're going to put Byron Buxton on the move here. Nice jump, Byron. It don't matter. That's going to be down the left field line. That will be an easily RBI double there. We are up 4-0. to zero. There we go. That's a great swing right there. We're starting to maybe get on track just a little bit again. I don't feel like I'm completely on these baseballs right now. Just gotta keep swinging. Just gotta keep putting in the work. We'll get back to where we were. That's what I'm saying right there, guys. 2-0, there's no reason to swing at a pitch that is absolutely dotted, but I do. I also completely miss it. We fly out to center field. I mean, look at these dots he's just throwing. Just absolute dots. That's what I'm talking about, this pitch right here. The backdoor cutters, if you locate it, are disgusting. I mean, that's just... He swings at that. that. Usually a good hitter will lay off that, but that pitch is unhittable. It's literally unhittable. You just got to somehow go with the pitch and put a good swing on it. But that pitch, you locate it like that, it's very, very difficult. Now we're missing the pitcher. We're just going to give him sinkers, cutters. There it is. We got him. Two down. Here comes Mickey. And there is strike three. Slurve in the dirt. Carlos Santana actually makes a great play back there. He didn't block it perfectly, but
but he, he recovered quickly, threw a dot to first base for three down. All right. What can Gallo do for us? Why am I swinging at that? That's such a bad swing. That actually may, I may get rewarded for the worst swing I took all game. Okay, that's fine. I didn't deserve a hit anyway. I'm happy that's an out. Here comes Carlos Santana. He got hit by a pitch his first at bat. What can he do here? Incredible. That was just a terrible at bat by me. That was just a terrible at bat by me. I swing and miss, swing and miss, and then I just lead on an inside slider. I gotta figure out what I'm doing wrong, guys, because I'm just not hitting. 1-1 one, one count here. Oh, I was on that ball. I was on that ball to the moon. Oh my God, we're actually gonna watch that one because that was an absolute moon shot. Look at Matt Olson here, low and in slider right down the middle. How far did he hit it, 450, 455? How far did he hit it? 459, what a bomb. That's the definition of a moon shot. And then we roll over a two-seam fastball right down the middle. But at least we got one. We have a 5-0 lead. That's an absolute dodge. You just cannot swing at the sinker. The sinker is just so tough to hit. It's jammed on the hands. Easy ground ball to second base. We got one down. Here comes Duke Snyder. Now he's looking inside. So we go four-seam up and away. We almost wanted like out of the zone a little bit. Not that far out of the zone, but that's fine. Because that actually, if, with that pitch, we can tunnel a cutter now. And he might take this pitch thinking it's the same four seam. There it is. We got him. He thought it was the four seam. Back to where he realized that the ball is cutting in. He can't make the adjustment. We get the second out. It's a hell of a pitch right there. That's what I'm saying. This one makes uh, Kluber so dirty. There's just so many ways to tunnel. So many ways to pitch with him that just makes him almost unhittable, especially on the upward difficulties. All right, this is going to be a strike out here. There it is. We got him. Three down. Let's keep putting the bruns. We have five through three. Let's see if we can put up a five spot this inning and end the game right here. Thank you. Thank you for being foul. My God, what is that swing? I suck. I stink. I absolutely stink right now. It's embarrassing. I just cannot put the PCI on the baseball. But Kluber can get a hit. Not Look at the PCI, guys. Look at the PCI. I am this far away from the baseball, and I'm getting rewarded for a single with Corey Kluber. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't know how I missed that. That's a great swing by my opponent right there, to be honest. That was an app. No way. What's he doing? Yeah, go back to first. Oh, he's good. Damn, I need I need Torres to throw that ball faster. That was actually a complete dot. And he squared it up. It's a good swing by my opponent there. Let's roll it over here. If we keep throwing the cutter, we're gonna double play this inning. As long as we dot the cutter, not throw it down the middle. Yeah, right there. Oh, that's a dot. 0-2, here we go. He actually hit this pitch well, so we're going to go up in the zone this time. Not low in the zone with the cutter. That's a dot. There it is. That's an easy double play. Six speed, routine. We got three down. Corey Kluber has a shutout through five. Can we swing the bats? That's the question, because I don't think I can right now. I don't know. I don't think I can. Just swinging at every pitch. We're just not hitting the ball well. We're just... We're in a slump, guys. We are in a slump. We got to figure some way around it. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. What do you guys do when you guys are in slumps? Give me some advice down in the comments. Do you take more pitches? Do you wait for two strikes? Let me know what you guys do in a slump so I can start doing it. Look at that. I just completely dropped my PCI on a meatball. We got two down. We took a pitch. We took a pitch. Oh, baby, there it is. To the moon. 
All right, we already replayed one homer, so we're not gonna replay that one. Even though it was his debut, it's all good. We're up 6-0. We debut one, I mean, we replayed one. We don't replay, we don't replay two. We don't need to be that toxic. These are just pitches I should be getting to, and I'm just not getting to them. I'm just not. But at least we had a moonshot with our debut player, Carlos Santana, 6-0 lead. We're still cruising through the game, but man, I should be hitting the ball way better. Especially, I'm versing Carlos Carrasco here. He's been actually pretty late on these pitches, so this should be late or a strikeout if I dot it. We do, we got him. 10 Ks already for Kluber, and he's only at 52 pitches. What a pitching performance from this guy right here. All right, we're gonna go back to the pitch that we just struck Machado out to sign a Mickey Mantle. We got him, three down. Kluber needs to calm down. He's being very, very rude to our opponent. He brings in Oliver Perez. See, this should be an easy four run, but right now, nothing's easy for us. I'm almost swinging at that. Does someone just put a trash can over me? Cause that's me right now. But Tatis is still having a two homer game. To the moon! We're lucky we're playing at the lower levels of All-Star right now. We can still kind of hit a little bit, but this is not good. One! To the moon! There it is, baby! There it is! He finally hits his first homer, first extra base hit with the squad. We go back to back. We need two more runs for that mercy. 3-2, that's probably a pitch we should not have taken, but we did because we can't hit right now. And then we swing at ball four, and we're somehow early on it, and we still get a hit up the middle. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. But now we are one homer away from ending this ball game. Look at that PCI, boys. Look at the PCI. I'm just not even close to the baseball. But at least we have a righty coming up, so I can see Perez better right now, because maybe he throws it to our PCI and we get lucky. 0-1. 3-2, Buxton's on the move. Gapper will easily score him. I may or may not have checked my swing on that. I may or may not have checked my swing. I'm not, I'm not gonna let you guys know what I did, but I'm just saying. I may or may not have swung at that pitch. Just saying, just saying. And we just got extremely lucky. We'll go first to third with Torres. We are now a single away from ending this ball game. Here comes our debut player, Carlos Santana. Can he do it again, baby? Can he do it again? This time from the right side is better side. I'm so garbage! Oh, that's actually, I think he was just late on that, but he put a good swing on the base. What's he doing? What are you doing, an opponent? What are you doing? Don't, come on, that's Byron Buxton out there. You gotta see it first. You're down by nine. All right, same pitch. If he's not gonna adjust, we're not gonna adjust. We're just gonna keep throwing the same pitch. There it is. Another strikeout. Cooper's thrown 63 pitches through seven innings, and I think he has like 14 strikeouts. That's gone? Oh, wait, what? Huh? What just happened? Why did he stop running with the center fielder? All right, Juan, you gonna win it? Good swing, Adam. Let's go, Juan. I am struggling, guys. And Juan Soto, through the right side, will win the game. Give us the mercy. Okay, Juan, maybe, maybe he likes A spot. I don't know, because he started hitting the ball those last two at-bats. We get the mercy again. We get the mercy. We should have got the mercy, but we also hit the ball not well we're pitching we're pitching really well that's the thing through the slump we've been pitching really 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 well but are hitting i don't know what it is whether it's my pci placement my timing or the way i'm seeing the ball but something's been off right I, 
if you guys watched my uh, stream yesterday again over on twitch.tv forward slash Samuel underscore Adams, you guys will watch me. I cannot hit on Legend. We were winning games because we were throwing shutouts. We're giving up one run. But man, I got to figure this out because this is going to be a problem if it keeps continuing. Again, guys, let me know what you guys do through slumps. In the comment section, let me know if you guys take pitch, take more pitches, go to batting, uh, custom practice and do that more. Let me know what your process is when you guys hit slumps. Well, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and our continued road to World Series. We did debut Carlos Santana. If you guys saw, we went one for three with a hit by pitch and an absolute moonshot in his debut. We're going to be continuing getting these showdown cards. We now have nine of them to our name for this team. There's a total of 30, so we need 21 more. Yes, we're going to get all of them. We're going to be ready for stage two whenever that comes out for Team Affinity. I don't know who we're going to get next. Let me know who you guys want the most. I saw some Vladdy. You guys want Vladdy on the bench. We'll go get Vladdy. I'm thinking we'll get um, Justin Turner. Justin Turner, again, he crushes lefties. Could be good at the higher levels when we need to maybe mix in him and with Eddie Matthews. So maybe Justin Turner, again, let me know. But I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You guys did. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. If you guys have not yet done it or you are new, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up. We're trying it for 35 likes. Again, you guys have been demolishing the like goal. I appreciate it so much, man. You guys are incredible. But until next time, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'm out.